This episode of Buford, South Carolina Fishing is brought to you by the following local businesses. So if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll leave a like on the video. And if you're able to, and you want to support the channel, I really hope you'll check out my Patreon. Signing up on the Patreon has some benefits. So you'll see the link on the screen now to, to go check out the Patreon. Uh, and you can go check in the description of this video to find the link to the Patreon as well. I think the problem is, is that these little ones are just too small to take the hook. See, I'm like setting the hook as they're biting it. And you're just not taking it. As soon as I turn the camera off, the very next drop, I actually hook one. Not a giant though. I think this is why, at least for these ones right here, this is why I'm not hooking them because they're just pretty small fish I think this is the third one that I've actually landed though with just way more bites with those teeth just little ones right now So I'm going to drop a bait straight down, if I can get it hooked right. That's the problem with the frozen crabs is they're not as durable, which could be another reason why I'm, they're just stealing the bait and not getting hooked. So here we go, right back down the same spot, instant bites. Probably lost my bait. Yep. Alright, let's do that again. Keep the camera on. Let me hook this better so it stays on the hook better. Better chance of actually catching the fish. There we go. It's hooked pretty good. That's oh no. Give this a second. There we go. Alright. Straight down, about six feet of water. There's a bite right away. Might have already lost my bait. Nope. There we go. That's a heavier one. See? Nice, that's the biggest one so far, even though it's still small. Oh, he's wrapped around the line too. Oh, he's barely hooked. Guess I better net him just to, just to be able to land him. There we go. Still small, but at least I was able to hook this one because it was a little bit bigger and it was hitting a little bit more aggressively. Still, I'm gonna say not a keeper. Yeah, I'm not gonna measure it. Cause I just wanna drop another bait down. Try to get the bigger ones, but yeah, he's he's the biggest of the day. Still small. Can't really tell how big it is yet. Oh. About the same size as the last one, so at least they're getting a little bit bigger. Good hook set. 
starting to figure them out a little bit. Yep, still not keeper size, but they're getting closer. I might run out of fiddler crabs before I even catch a keeper size. Alright, got another one. Looks a little bit bigger. Not quite keeper though. That might be the biggest of the day though. Actually, you know what? I'll measure this one. I want to be sure. Because this one looks bigger than the rest. No, still 12 inches. Alright, this one feels heavier. This might be the one we're looking for. I don't know yet. Wait, he's not coming up as fast. Oh, pulled out some drag too. With the drag tight. Yep, that's what we're looking for. That's a bigger one. Don't get off the hook, please. There we go. I think, yep, I think he's going to be a keeper. Especially after measuring that last one. Yeah, a, this is a keeper. Finally. Trust me, I caught a lot of small fish and missed a ton of bites before I got this one. It's no giant, but it still could be my biggest sheep set ever. I have, yeah, I have no doubt that it's a keeper size, which I will release it because I don't plan on keeping any fish today. Took a lot of work to get this one. 15 and a half. Very close to my biggest sheep set ever. Awesome. let it go maybe get another one I'll definitely get another one but maybe get a bigger one that's the biggest of the day and at least it's a keeper size so I'm happy to catch it I feel like I kind of succeeded today left all those big redfish for that got another one another not a bigger one but man this is the best day I've had as far as the numbers of sheep said Finally starting to hook them more often. That one's probably 12 inches like the other ones. Well that's how you know I'm learning how to set the hook in them. Look at how small this one is. I actually got the hook in them. This thing is tiny. I am figuring it out. I'm letting them eat it just a little bit before I set the hook. That seems to be what's working, especially after hooking one that small. So here's a good question for the people that sheep's head fish. If you're only catching small sheep's head at your spot, should you leave them to go find the bigger ones? Or do you just stay and wait for the bigger ones to show up? Got another one. Another non-keeper size. That's okay. Probably caught about 10 sheep's head today. With only one being a keeper, but still. It's probably the most sheep's head I've ever caught in a day. Yep, a bunch of sheep's head. 
I'm almost out of fiddler crabs. And I had a lot of them. That's how you know, I've been really doing a lot of sheep's head fishing today. So I'm officially out of fiddler crabs. I probably went through close to 50 crabs. Now we're gonna go see if we can end the day with some trout. Got a fish back in a hole. Oh, and it is a trout. That's a nice trout. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a good way to lose it, what I'm doing. Wow, that's possibly the biggest trout I've ever caught. Good thing I got my measuring board nearby. Perfect hook set. Oh, okay. I can't drop them now because the hook is not in them. Camera's about to die. That's why it hasn't been on lately. This is definitely the biggest trout I've ever caught on camera. Because I caught a 19 and a half incher off camera a couple months ago. Alright, not even as big as I thought, but I mean, it looks so big. 17 and a half. Awesome trout. Would be a really good keeper size, I guess. Gonna let him go. Try to go get a bigger one. There we go, we've gotten sheep's head, a red, and the trout. It's been a great day. So as you can tell, even though this toadfish rod is really short and made for sheep's head fishing, I'm really not having much trouble casting it. I sight casted a red with it. I caught a trout with it. Caught probably 10 sheep's head with it today. So this is a really good rod. There's a fish. Another trout. Awesome. So if you are interested in purchasing one of these rods, I have a discount code. So you can get 10% off your order if you want to buy a toadfish rod. So check out the link in the description to go to their website and use that code that you'll find in the description of this video. And you'll get 10% off. That's probably a keeper trout. I'm not going to measure it. Oh, it's definitely a keeper trout. Hooked something big and it just took off. Gotta be a red. Wow. This is just how they fight now. Oh, that's a nice one too. He smashed it too. I wish I had the camera on to get that. Super aggressive fish. There he is. Not a bad size red. Whoa. All right, come here. Just want a one real quick measurement. 24 and a half. Inch and a half over slot. Awesome fighter. Let's get some more. Today was a really good day of fishing. I had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. 
and go check out all those other videos that I have. Thank you for watching. If you've made it this far into the video and you're still watching, I really hope you'll take the time to go check out my Patreon. Supporting the channel on Patreon really, really helps out.